As the weather was deteriorating, we decided to go and have a crack at Busted Head. Another day in Paradise. Beautiful. Victor. Victor. What have we got today, Victor? Victor. Big day. Oh, oh, the Browns, the King Brown. Is the King Brown going to do the damage? Let the King Brown crack. The bar at 1770 is pretty shallow. It will be pretty hectic if the uh, wind's coming from the north or northeast, but with the southerly or southeasterly, um, it looks deceptively calm. Yeah, go to the right of that wave. Slip across. the needle. Bruce has to put up with my ridiculous instructions given that he's been driving a boat for 35 years. Beautiful. This was the visibility of Busted Head. I've just chucked one clip in to show you how appalling it was. It really wasn't diveable. I saw one trout, the swell, crazy waves. Anyway, didn't get any fish here, so we just decided to pop around the corner and have a look in Pancake Creek. Pancake Creek. Thanks mate. Time for lunch. Beautiful. Did you get any fish at all? Other than vermin? Yeah. The water looks alright. We're going to try and get some tuskies back near where you were fishing. But closer to that bombing. Yeah. Now stand bucket green my friend. Peter, are you enjoying yourself? How much fun is this? Rooster. You want me to light the barbecue? This is my first dive on this awesome little cave that I found. Um, had barracod, little trout, uh, all sorts of stuff everywhere. And uh, eventually ended up getting a really nice trout out of here and a bluey as well. But uh, finding little bits of country like this makes all the difference. Sadly, this bloke got away.
still diving in the same little cave. I was hoping to find that trout that I'd lost and and uh, capture it, but uh, in the end, I settled for a consolation prize. Didn't quite get the camera going early enough, just after I've shot this bluey, but anyway, it was a little bit bigger specimen, very tasty. I'd gone about three, four hundred metres up to do another drift and somehow managed to stumble back across this same cave and um, I saw a really nice big uh, coastal zap into it. So uh, yeah, I was on the chase anyway, come out a bit better this time. This ended up being my biggest coastal trout of the trip at 70 centimetres and 5 kilos on the dot. Once again, the key to getting fish at rock cod shoal is to find these little bits of structure. This is only quite a small ledge. You can see a few fish can fit inside it, but that's where they're going to hang around and definitely what you have to keep your eye out. Something you probably wouldn't even look twice at on another reef, but uh, definitely they'll go for rock cod shoal. This was our last day of diving for the trip. We had an awesome time, great bunch of guys. Um, it was a bit sketchy ride home with the bilge pump not working, but we're getting close to having to take the bung out, but we didn't have to in the end. But anyway, highly recommend it. Rock Hodge Shoal, great place for beginner divers or people like me that prefer to dive shallow for the uh, fish rather than having to go really deep. Yeah.